X Defiant Season 1 has dropped, but don't worry. I've got the best sniper settings and a little trick to show you guys so that way you can get those quick scopes in, okay? I want to see some quick scopes out there. Tag me on Twitter or X now that it's called. And uh, let's watch these things live because I'm excited for the quick scoping community in X Defiant. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump over to the game and we'll show you guys not only the best settings, but a cool little trick that might help you out. All right, now that we're over here at the game, I, I have one trick I want to show you before we get to the actual main trick at the end of this video. And this trick is use the cleaners if you're using the M44. Now, if you're looking for a build for any of these weapons, you can go ahead and check out the description and check out my X Defiant loadout, um, which describes everything. It's a pretty cool little like website. It's kind of like the meta builder for a war zone. It's, it's really cool. You can go build your guns and everything. You can too, not just me. So... Uh, go ahead and check some of those guns out and you might find a loadout that you enjoy But anyway, let's go ahead So the m44 that I have and using the cleaners you can actually get it to one shot And I'm actually gonna run over here and just show you guys that just real quick And then I'm gonna actually show you the settings that I use for aim down sights and all of that good stuff So even on the phantoms a lot of people are like well the phantoms have 20 more health What would you do to combat that because they're usually only two shots unless you use the cleaners the cleaners I actually make it a one-shot hit as long as you hit them in the chest chest or above chest or above you can see there it won't do anything if you hit them in the torso you have to hit chest or above or roughly around the shoulder should i say um and then boom you pretty much just a one shot on everyone else and that is the build that i have as of right now so let's go ahead and check out some of my settings here so for the controller obviously aim assist strength you're you're gonna want aim assist right if you're on controller if you're not and you're on keyboard and mouse um, I'm not real sure on what the mouse would look like but for controller these are what we're gonna look like all right so aim response curve I use standard some people like linear some people for some reason like uh, reverse s curve you can kind of play with that one a little bit if you'd like if you want to be just a little bit different but I just choose standard for myself Horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity whenever I'm running around I like 31 it gives me that ability to run around and you know look quickly left and right But not too quickly to where I try to overcompensate on one of the one of the two, right? So also We're gonna go ahead and look at controller aim look sensitivity now This is gonna be one that you're gonna want to play with yourself Whenever I'm using a little bit of a heavier sniper for some reason I like this bad boy cranked up to 1.25 but if you change if you change any of your horizontal and vertical sensitivity it's actually going to change a little bit of that so just watch out for that okay because if you change it to like 50 and 50 then you might want to go down a little bit on your multiplier because these are multipliers on top of what you already have as your horizontal and vertical sensitivity so you're going to want to watch that whenever you're jumping into the game, whenever you're setting up all, all of your settings. Go into the practice zone. Don't feel afraid to go into the practice zone. Um, you know, remember that it's there. Go practice a little bit before you jump into some games. I promise you, you're going to feel a lot better about your game, your gaming session whenever you do start. Okay, so I'll leave these at 1-0 for the M44 or whenever I'm running around with an AR. But if I'm running the L115 or if I'm running the TAC-50, I sometimes will bump these up to 1.15 or 1.25, somewhere around up in there, uh, because essentially it just determines how fast you can go ahead and look around. And if I feel a little sluggish, I'll just bump that number up. I won't bump any of the other numbers up. I'll just bump that number up just a little bit, because then that's only one setting that I have to remember whenever I go back, which I particularly enjoy, okay? Now... With that being said, with all of that being said, I want to show you guys a quick, quick scoping tip. Pun intended. All right. So whenever you're running around, you'll notice that it takes a little bit longer for you to aim in than if you were just standing still. So the only way to combat that and still run around is while you're running around, pull back and aim down the sight. You'll notice as you do that, you'll be a lot quicker at aiming down the sight. And the reason for this is because the game thinks that you're actually gonna be standing still at that point whenever you aim in. So just get used to that method, try to play with it a little bit, and you'll notice that you'll be a lot quicker at quick scoping. 
And it also, to me, seems like my accuracy does go up whenever I do that as well. But you got to remember, pull straight back. Don't, don't go side to side because whenever you go side to side, it might change where you're aiming. Definitely whenever you're just quick scoping and you're just aiming in. So, just like I said, you just pull back, shoot. Pull back, shoot. Pull back, shoot. You know, and, and I can do this all day in the firing range, and it never will simulate someone running around the corner, someone running somewhere. So just play with that pull back and shoot, and I posted a little short about that as well. I also have the best TAC-50 attachments out there. Uh, I guess you could say that this is the M44 attachments or wh whatever you'd like, but we're going to name it the settings video, all right? So I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a big fat like, and if you do want to see more content like this, we'll please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.